In this video, I wanted to do something different because I showed the things I dislike about my Blackberry. The first thing that I dislike about my Blackberry, it's no secret, it's social media apps. Of course, social media apps do exist on Blackberry and they are available on Blackberry World, but oftentimes they are slower and sometimes they don't even exist, like Snapchat. The apps that are available from Numori Studio, they're constantly getting better and they are usable though. And if you don't like the apps that are on Blackberry World, you can always use the web client and the web client is oftentimes also quite good. But that is definitely a thing Blackberry, uh, no, Android and iOS do a lot better. The next thing I dislike about my Blackberry is also about apps, but it's the app gap. Uh, it isn't a big thing for me, it's for others though, that's why I wanted to address it. Um, of course, on Blackberry there aren't as many apps as on other devices. So there are workarounds and there are other apps, but everything is kind of more complicated to do and sometimes you, you, don't, you aren't able to download the app as a native Blackberry app, but that is the thing that I don't like and that News Republic is available as you see. But that is the thing Chon Chan or Blackberry itself should have focused more on to get more developers developing for their OS. And that is something they've missed. What I do to overcome that issue of the app gap on my Blackberry is I use my iPad and use it over hotspot or Wi-Fi and use apps such as Snapchat or YouTube sometimes because it has a bigger screen real estate. But uh, if you have a, a tablet, it's fine. If it's a problem for you, you should address that. Oh, that's why I address that. The next problem I have with my Blackberry that might not seem that very big is the turn off mechanism uh, when you want to turn off your phone. Because my phone oftentimes shuts itself off. It was a lot with the Blackberry Classic, not with the Q10 as much, but it turns off when I have it in my pocket. So why does that happen? You have to press the power button for three seconds in order to shut the phone off and then a countdown will appear that notifies you that in three seconds, if you press it longer, it will turn off. But the thing is, if you have it in your pocket, that button gets pressed accidentally or in a, in a tight pants pocket or, or in a tight pocket of a backpack or whatever, it turns itself off because that button will be pressed by some object or your fabric and that is something that sometimes annoys me and it was a lot with my Blackberry Classic because it has a physical um, call amp button and that call amp button also worked as a power off button and that made itself shut off many times. So what I know is that iOS does it a lot better because you have to press the power button at first and then have to accept that you want to turn off with a swipe over the screen and that is a better way to turn it off and it doesn't get turned off accidentally. That is the thing they could improve on but it's not a big thing, it's just sometimes kind of annoying. The next thing I dislike about my Blackberry is the front facing camera. It is just not very good, there isn't a lot of color in the pictures, the sensor isn't big enough, it only has I think 2 megapixels and that is just not enough in today's world for a front-facing camera where a lot of selfies are taken. I don't, my, I don't take selfies myself, but uh, for many it will be a problem. But generally the front-facing camera isn't comparable to those of today's phones like the Samsung Galaxy S7, the iPhone 6S, the LG G5, uh, or the Blackberry Priv, which also has also which also has a two megapixel camera, which is also not compar comparable to today's phones. And the last and fifth thing I dislike about my Blackberry is that BB OS 10 is slowly dying and I really, really don't like that. Still, Nimori Studios address the issue. They try to keep Blackberry 10 alive. They develop a new WhatsApp client. Nimori has just confirmed that and also all those social media clients. So maybe we can change something by downloading his apps or other developers' apps, but otherwise the BB10 is slowly dying and that is the thing I really dislike about my Blackberry. So that's it, that was my list of things I dislike about my Blackberry phone. It isn't long, only five points, but 
Um, if there are problems to you, you maybe should reconsider buying a BlackBerry phone, but otherwise go ahead and buy it if you are good with those problems. Because in my opinion, uh, the, the pros really overdo or overrate the cons. And that is why I use my BlackBerry still. So that's it for this week's video. Make sure you give it a like if you like the video and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated with the newest videos and leave a comment on what you think are cons of BlackBerry and what are pros of BlackBerry. And if you are reconsidering buying a BlackBerry phones because of the things I just mentioned or because of the things you don't like about BlackBerry. See you next week. Until then, bye.